Hey guys, how's it going? This is going to be a pretty long one, so yeah, we'll go through things one by one, see what we can get figured out here with the newest update. It is uh, a day or so late, but um, yeah, I mean, lots of stuff here to cover, so let's go ahead and get started. So the banner, got the G line. Um, so the G line assault armor. Level one and two, uh, cost 400, I guess two is 500, or sorry, 450 rather. Um, let's see, what do we got here? G-Line developed, cool. I mean, eh. um, high HP, robust assault aircraft. No, no stats here on this. Um, Dom Barrage level three, that'd be kind of fun. 500 cost, that'll be pretty legit. Uh, so it'll be monthly mobile suit bonus. Ooh. Oh, the above. Wait, if it's saying the above. Okay, yeah, so the Don Barrage. Nice. Okay, that'd be cool. Um, please see here for the month. Okay, cool. Yeah. That list of mobile suits that you get some extra DP with in the games. Information on lottery, probability increase campaign for supplies and lottery distribution. This time, the lottery probability is up for a limited time. Cool. General stuff here. That's about it. This is just talking about what we've got with the G-Line and stuff. So, cool. So, yeah. Looks pretty good. It's got, like, a short cannon. It's got a shotgun that fires pretty fast, from what I've heard. Uh, yeah, so it should be a pretty solid raid type. Um, kind of awkward that they have the G-Line light, and it, I don't know, I haven't, I haven't seen too much use out of it so far, which I think I do have, so I'm, I'll probably try it one day. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and hop over to the actual notes here, and they're talking about ranked matches, so we'll go ahead and jump into the ranked stuff. I believe this is talking about nothing but ranked matches, uh, so we'll go over this. So, I was not here for the first ranked match thing. I did not get into this game yet, but I've already heard there's been one, so I don't know what the changes are. Uh, but, right here they're saying, did you enjoy the first campaign? So, um, some nice translation going on here by Google Translate. But, uh, now it is an introduction about the next update. Well, first, let's talk about ranked match. Okay. Held once last year. So the first uh, time ranked match, mini reflection point on the system. Okay, let's see. What do we got here? What is ranked match? Held in a limited time. Cool. So I guess this will be going on for so long and then it'll stop. Here we go. Events to compete for rankings um, tend to be exciting only by a handful of top players. So in Battle Operation 2, we emphasize the group ranking so that more people can enjoy it. Group ranking, aiming to be the top among 20 people. Rather than aiming for the first place among tens of thousands, group ranking is aimed at being the first place among groups of 20 people. Okay, so they're going to be doing this group kind of thing. I wonder... So it doesn't start till the 5th of September, I believe. Um, yeah, September 5th. So I guess this is when this will pop up. Um, I mean, that's the next banner when it hits. So if you're among the 20 people, many people will have a chance to become the first place. So it, so I hope you can, uh, okay, cool. Good luck, pretty much is what that's saying. Distribution method for each group. Participation, participating groups are determined by their own rating when they enter a ranked match. So A minus to A plus, B minus to B plus, C minus to C plus, D minus to D plus. Cool. Among which 20 people are assigned to each group in numerical order. Group rewards, mobile suits that can only be obtained through ranked matches or available for group ranking top prizes. However, it will be added to the lottery 
after a certain period. I wonder which one it was last time. Hmm. I'm guessing they're doing something similar. Get higher level aircraft in higher leagues. Cool. Um, mobile suits. <laughs> More players can get rewards in higher leagues. Therefore, uh, it is important to raise the rating rank on a daily basis so that you can participate in top le in the top league as much as possible. Mobile suits for ranked match is also available in special mission. Although it is a group ranking limit limited limited for 20 to 20 people. There we go. As long as it is a ranking, people who cannot win the top will naturally be born. But there was also a reward that you can so there's a reward that you can get uh only your own results without being influenced by other people think that more people will participate in ranked matches okay so uh, you got a level one level two and a level three get top ranked group ranking uh earn top earn top group rankings the more you get into the high league, the more people you can earn. Okay, so if you're participating in a ranked match and win a certain number of times, anyone can get it regardless of ranking. Okay, so there's rewards for everybody. Cool, cool. Comprehensive ranking. As an additional element of engagement, unlike the ranking in the group, this is the overall ranking among all pilots. There is... A ranking that only a handful of people can win and in terms of rewards limited emblems are prepared as honorable rewards rather than uh, gorgeous rewards so I'm guessing that's just saying pretty much you get uh, certain rewards for just participating type stuff rather than getting these uh, limited emblems Ooh, container. Ah, well, I like that already. So, positive effects is always activated. Furthermore, uh, if the team wins, it can trigger four positive effects on other pilots. So, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, yeah, this is the lemon. Oh, okay, emblems. So, this is what we got already. Wait, are we getting platinum now? We're getting a platinum emblem instead of just bronze, silver, gold? I... I seeing them look like this i didn't think of them as emblems duh that's what they're called okay so so is this the same emblem or is this a different thing is this only for ranked okay i'm not i'm not sure on this that's interesting But you get DP, XP, CP, and container drop probability. Is this only in ranked, I'm guessing? Hmm. Um, affects other pilots on the same team, although it is less effective. So is ranked four man stuff, I'm guessing, from the looks of this? Uh, although it is less effective than the medal. Oh, okay, medal obtained for the monthly mission. Sorry, that's a medal. This is an emblem. Um, it is always active, activated each time you fire, regardless whether encouragement is used or not. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. So you get just more rewards for getting higher rank, I guess. Um, from here, I will explain the new rank matching rules. Okay, changes the rules require RP rank points. Previous time, the more RPs you got, the more RP you could get. So it was a rule that would force you to make a very hard number of times to win uh, the top prize. First of all, I worked on the parts uh, where I feel fatigued easily. So let's see, the 
RP registered in the ranking of the first will be changed to only the RP for the top three battles. Regardless of whether you sort out three times, so you sort out three times a day or 20 times, only the three most staking RPs you have, one will be added to your, okay, so you get, so if you go crazy, the highest scores you get, I guess, well, whatever the RPs are, the highest rank points you get will work for that day, whether at, before, whereas before, I guess, it was, if you did do it 400 times a day, then you, you yeah, it was awesome. So I get that change. So taking your best out of a day. If you have more time, you get more tries to do really well. Uh, number two, renewal of RP calculation formula. Because the importance of the number of sorties uh, has weakened, the previous RP calculation formula was plus 200 RP for battle wins, 150 for rival wins, etc. will remain the same. Ring points without creating a difference in ring points that each person can acquire per day. Since the upper rank is filled, um, the earned rank points has been revised to the formula that fluctuates according to the following three items. So team score... Going from 12,000 to 600 RP. 5% of the team score RP earned by all team, by all teams in the battle. Okay. Um, RP based on the outcome of the battle. So if you win, defeat, draw. And so I'll, an additional point for every emphasis emphasizing the move to win as a team however the difference in the victory and defeat is 200 rp so the winning rp will be higher for a battle that has been defeated with a team score okay that's interesting um balance is based on the belief that even if it is an inferior battle if more RP can be obtained by acting actively, you can enjoy the, a heated battle to the end regardless of victory or defeat. Cool. That makes sense. Um, and right here, individual ranking. A team wins slash loss reflecting the results of the team. So this is just pretty much the normal stuff we have, I assume. Okay, yeah, right here. Assist, damage, Diversion, defeat, loss. So the stuff that we normally have. Cool. These things. Awesome. And pretty good, pretty good values for each of those. That's pretty cool. Um, guessing individual score. Oh, wait, no, no. Second, okay, okay. So if you're first or second, you get pretty much the 400 RP. If you're third or fourth, you get 300, and then it goes down from there. Cool. Um, what else do we got? This overall ranking. Oh, okay, first of all, it is the most important in earning RP to work together. Well, yeah, okay, cool. Positivity things for teamwork and stuff. Yeah. Uh, individual battle results is a necessary condition for winning a higher rank in the ranked matches. So you're kind of competing with your team at the same time as competing with uh, everybody else. Interesting. Sometimes these kind of point things uh, really mess with how people play because you're playing to win the, the point game, not the, not the game itself. Um, but if you can do both and the game is a win, then I guess that works. But Okay, so number three, change of period. Last time uh, it was a weekend times two weeks, but 
if the holding period is too short, this is difficult for the difference in RP. So this time it'll be held in seven days from Monday to Sunday. The holding period uh, is not fixed here. Huh. No changes since last time. Group by 20 people in the order. Okay, the higher change from previous time. The only RP that can be earned per day is RP for three battles. Uh, RP that can be attained in the battle is determined by team score. And the period is seven days. Okay, so this is just a general overview of the changes and why it didn't change. Um, not going to really go over all those because of that. Against nuisance to other players. Here we go. So this is actually talking about some stuff that I think is in the patch notes, but let's let's go over let's go over this too. Uh, we are currently receiving inquiries regarding nuisance by some players. Interfering acts that attack allies in battle, so-called friendly fire. Continuing uh, non-cooperative behavior such as neglect and simple chats without participating in the battle. Disconnecting during battle. Uh, slander by act chat or email and so on. Huh. That's kind of interesting that they would point out this one as well. Um... Though some inconveniences uh, were penalized during the game, this scope uh, will be explained from the next update. Uh, response to sabotage so-called friendly fire in the attacks and battle. Although it has not been officially announced so far, as a result of a repeated test, uh, play test play so far whether it is intentional interference or not accuracy has become a problem as a criterion and for the intentional interference to future allies and following measures are taken when a certain level of uh, interference is detected to the battle regarding the combat abandonment oh regarded as a combat abandonment on top of uh, penalty addition to force withdrawal from the battle. So they kick you out and um, you get a penalty abandonment for it. And when the accumulated value of number of detentions or detections of obstruction acts exceed a certain value regarded as a combat abandonment on top of penalty addition the forced withdrawal from the battle will be uh, for example if you have always interfered once in a battle it will not be detected only with the first conditions but due to this condition you'll be forced to be removed from the battle after adding a penalty oh, okay so one is just kind of the oops you left a game then this one's like oops you left a game and additional so this is where it's talking about the penalty stuff adding a penalty okay cool um so this is just saying regarded as a combat abandonment toward your penalty and then eventually it will be a penalty the detailed conditions recognized as uh deliberate acts of harassment cannot be answered because they may misuse they may be misused as loopholes Please note, however, please be assured that the following situations that occur during normal play will not be detected intentionally. When an ally enters the yeah, line of sight, yeah, okay, when you're shooting, uh, because that happens all the time. I'm like, aim down, boom, some guy boosts over in front, and I end up shooting them back because hashtag support problems. Uh, when melee attacks made against an enemy is hit an adjacent ally, yeah, I figured that would be there right after that because all those melee swings, you're knocking everybody down. Sometimes it's actually better to knock a teammate down while you're swinging because, you know, maybe they're low. Maybe you go in to help save them. A lot of times as a support player, when that raid types on me and there's like two other guys next to me and I'm not in a good spot and I've already used my tackle, I prefer to be knocked down while my teammate's there to knock everybody down and then I can reposition and do whatever I need to. So, 
yeah, I'm glad that they really did this because sometimes I do want to be knocked down, just saying. Uh, corresponding uh, the act of disconnecting during the battle and disconnecting during the battle. What? Uh, okay, this has been penalized so far, but it will be double the previous, so no shootout time. So yeah, pretty much uh, when you get a penalty, you can't queue for a little while. Uh, so I'm guessing they're doubling this. This effectively, if they double it, is almost, for most people, a day ban. Because, you know, then it's time, by the time you're un, un, unpenalized, you, or you, where you can actually launch again in sortie, uh, you're probably going to bed. So, effectively a ban on some people for a day. Although it seems you will be, you will want to be more involved in winning and losing than before because a rank match is held. This penalty may cause you to be unable to sort out in a rank match that day, so it will intentionally disturb your allies. Please do not cut. Okay, that one that one didn't make as much sense in my head when I read it. Uh, also in the line is weak, etc. I think that unintentional disconnection may occur in rare cases, but you should not loosen the disconnection penalty to follow all of them. I've not determined. We try to avoid penalties if cuts do not occur frequently. So, we hope you're understanding. You, we hope you understand the severe penalties. So here's my question: Why don't they just get rid of? Like, if you disconnect, unless I just missed it there. If you disconnect, they should just kill your score. Like, you get it as a loss. For some reason, that's what I was thinking. Minimus determines the harassment is still taking place. In the above warning, uh, we will suspend the gameplay of the target account without notice in order to maintain a comfortable environment. So this is a ban. So this whole thing is a ban. Hmm. Finally, on the first year, many people were logged into Battle Ops 2. Thank you so much. Cool. Okay. Previous game. Uh, nothing really here. I guess they're just finishing thoughts and stuff. Cool. Oh, yeah. They were talking about the GGGP 2019. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm really interested in this right here. I really would like to just see them like disconnecting and stuff. I, I really would like to see that just not save like your rating because I mean at that point um, you're pretty much I don't know. There's not much reason to disconnect. People do it, but I mean rating. I, I guess people want score and stuff like DP. But, I mean, I don't get people who's disconnecting at, like, A or A+. Plus. Hell, even A-. minus. Like, I, I don't really feel like there's much weight into it. I think that's one of the problems. Because people can disconnect. If you are A, okay, cool. If you're A+, plus, cool, whatever. I mean, you can just disconnect and get there if you really, really had to have that rank. Um, but, I mean, I, I personally like to queue with my friends. So, that's why I kind of... I don't mind if I lose a few games here and there. Because if I do get too high, then the way it's set up, I can't queue with people that are that close. I mean, we might try to expand the gap and see if we still can, but... I mean, it just it just kind of sucks when you can't queue with your friends. Um, and, and again, like, I don't find weight in the ranking system. I don't find it to be very competitive for that. Uh, just because, I mean, again... Stuff like this. Oh, and when people do leave because they do do this, then that means the losing team, the guy leaves the last second, right? So that means the losing team doesn't lose any points. So there's been games where it's like, man, we just got stomped. Oof. I lost hard. You know, I'm feeling bad. Like, sorry, team. I sucked. You know, I'm going to lose some points for it. Dude over here quits saves my number 
Woohoo. I mean, it's like... Then, then that then that means the losing team doesn't lose anything. So nobody's going down. So the winning team goes up, nobody goes down. The next time you, you play, both of you kind of do this. So then you, everybody's higher overall. Uh, that's what that kind of leads to, is everybody being a higher rating, which doesn't put much prestige on the the higher rank. Just to kind of get into it. I mean, overall, meh. I, I don't really care too much about that right now. I mean, it's cool. I guess, but just bringing up the talking point is that it does lead to higher ranks over everybody overall. Um, so I don't know. I mean, we'll see what they do with it, but my point is, is people need to stop disconnecting and people need to stop doing rage quit, AFK, things like that. Uh, and then people need to stop hitting people when they do that too. So that's another thing. If somebody's doing something and they're a complete dick, They've AFK'd, they're doing whatever, they're jumping over the box, just waiting for the game to end. Don't go hit that person. Either you're you're promoting that behavior because they enjoy now that they know that they've pissed somebody off, or you're making them even matter. Either way, it helps nobody. So, there's been plenty of games I've won 4v5. And if he's going to stay back there and do that, it just makes it a 4v5. So there you go. You get your uh, game in, play well, and see that's the thing, you're only hurt yourself if you're gonna go back and hit that guy, or if he's a pilot, shoot him, which I did see does get you kicked out of the game is shooting a pilot. Um, so be careful about that. You know, and again, if you're gonna take the time to do that, you could be taking the time to go beat your rival. If you beat your rival, get some get some points, get some forgiveness points, if you will. Um, so yeah, there's that, but okay, let's move on. Let's, let's, let's get off that. Uh, so we've looked at the new suit. We've looked at the ranking stuff specifically. There's some parts changes. We'll get into that here later, but let's check out what we got here. So the period, like they said, the 16th to the 23rd, that's pretty cool. Okay. Clan related stuff, clan mission achievement rankings. So they got the clan missions in. Um, the top three people putting towards the score of those will be put on the launch screen, and you can see who's in first, second, third. Pretty cool overall. Um, you can see how many they've done, I think is what that 27 is, or something like that. So, kind of cool. Promotes people that are being active in the clan, promotes people to be active in the clan. Pretty good. Um, the clan mission achievements will be determined by the number of clan missions. Okay, yeah, cool. From Haro, the clan screen. Okay, yeah, so yeah, I mean, the, wait. Is there's a change coming to this? Regarding clan mission achievement ranking, top three clans will be applied in the update. Okay, yeah, we've already seen this. From Haro, clan screen, you can, oh, so you can just, okay, you can see what your current rank, okay, you can see what your current total is. Got it, got it. Um, that's kind of cool, I guess. You end up, uh, yeah, I, I didn't know this was the exact screen. It took me a little while to navigate to this, but yeah. You bring up the uh, clan page, and it's over here on the right side. Uh, we're receiving an invitation from a clan. The new invitation was displayed as a button, so it is now displayed at the top. When invitations from the clan exceed the upper limit, the new invitation has been deleted, so the old one is deleted. Pages can now be paged with the left and right arrow keys, uh, the editing, clan profile, etc. on the clan terminal. Set text uh, is displayed on the on-screen keyboard. Uh, when editing a member comment in Haro clan screen, the text is now displayed on screen, oh, on the on-screen keyboard. Uh, a warning is now displayed when approving enlistment application from players in the block list. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, real quick too. I don't know if they talk about this in here, but X and Circle have been switched. I don't know if this is just for the upcoming Western release. Are they doing this for the entire game? I checked on my Japanese account and switching the language and everything, and it still was um, X and Circle have been swapped on those accounts even, not just my US account. So we'll see if we see any crazy backlash on like Twitter and stuff 
Uh, but I wonder if they've got it switched over there. So is it uh, a physical Xbox? Like, you know, where where was the X or Xbox? Whoops, PlayStation. I did that again. Man, I did that in chat, and everybody was like, what are you doing? We are PlayStation people. And so, yeah, whoops. Um, but where the console, let's say console, was uh, <laughs> made or location of the physical console from, say, your IP address. Which one does it choose based on that? But, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. What is this? Force withdrawal is now performed uh, when excessive disturbance is detected during battle. Okay, so this is the thing when you're attacking people. Um, abandonment of the front is repeated. The withdrawal status uh, deteriorates and a penalty occurs. There it is. For custom matches, the above detection will not force it. Force it, exit. Cool. That's pretty cool. I like it. Um, the limit for unlimited dispatch ca that can be received withdrawal status repeat level penalty level one or more has been doubled. So that's that uh. Uh, time limit thing where I said pretty much ends up being like a day ban for some people because they don't have time to play so don't be a dick there you go life advice uh, tips related added item related to the worldview of the system battle operation 2 to the end game tips displayed in the sortie okay Reinforcement facility can enhance the performance of mobile suits. Performance can. Okay, so what? Oh, okay, so that's what this is. Oh, okay. Oh, never mind. This is the. Yeah. Skill. Uh, disguise transmission device marks an enemy uh, on enemies' radar in range are treated as friendly. And confusing the range's influence increasing as the level increases. Huh. Oh, I guess this is... Okay, so I have to see that in game. I think that it's... Okay, so they're just talking about the tips related to these. View of the world. Um, cool. So I guess, yeah, that, that's kind of interesting. Uh, battle related. So they got like, my birthday is 10 9, 15 years old. Full name is 10 to begin. Uh, it seems to want to take a rest on rainy day. Okay, battle related. Various uh, parameter adjustments have been made. Please see here for details. Total personal ranking has been added to the battle results screen. The overall personal ranking is now displayed on the VS rival screen in radiating match slash rank match results. Okay, so that's they're just talking about this. Cool. It's pretty cool. Um, map. Uh, so mountaineering air or mountainous area has been updated. We'll have to see what that looks like. Um, unit related command shield model for Jim Custom and Jim Cannon 2. Hmm. Just the hit judgment of shoulders on the C and the Drazi Kai. Hmm. I have to play to kind of see that, but um, hit judgment of Zogok, fighting armament, arm punch during normal and right fighting attacks uh, has been adjusted. According to the appearance adjustments with a hit judgment of below melee armor on Dom Cannon 
uh, double gun specification, so that's the dual cannon or whatever, uh, according to the appearance. Network, here we go, let's see what this says. Is open on the sortie preparation room. If a player uh, registered in a block list enters the same sortie preparation room, the member list on the right side of the screen will pop up. Oh, okay. Um, apparently the block player thing is a big deal. A lot of people block, that way they can dodge games before they get too far in the queue. Kind of interesting. Um, yeah, not, not something I'm as used to, not on console anyway. Uh, so, kind of, yeah, kind of cool. Okay, so base camp has been returned to normal. Okay, so this is, I don't think anything too crazy here. But, let's see, we've got the application data update. Replacement supplies have been added to the recycling window. So we got the heavy Gundam. Okay, that's what I'm saving up for. Now that it's in there, I've got to save up my tickets. And the Slave Wraith. Pretty cool, I guess. Not my favorite. I'm a sport guy, so I definitely want the heavy Gundam. Um, custom parts. They added resistance for... Bullet, they all the armor four and auxiliary generator three, so that'll be kind of cool. I don't know how much the armor four will be used, um, but the cost is kind of interesting. I think it's a 12 cost, so they also changed the cost of some items and stuff, which I'll go over that here in a second. Uh, looks like they're adding in the tortoise shell, um, kind of paint that's kind of cool. Uh, for two days, what is this? The above supplies will always be in the... Okay, yeah, cool. Um, High Gog, level two, is added to the DP store. Woo -woo. That'll be kind of fun to play around when doing some random custom matches. Lottery distribution lineup update. Some supplies, okay. Well, that's not, not the craziest thing. Um, okay, this weekend schedule, shuffle target, simple battle, shuffle target. correction items so a lot of stuff here uh, any of the item stuff I'm probably not going to cover all exactly if I think the cost is in the complete next one here so let's just see what we got though corrected the phenomenon where the SE is not replayed during the countdown 10 seconds before the end of the battle with ace match oh okay well i thought that was just intentional but apparently you were supposed to have the little beep 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 thing cool uh in simple battle the operation voice that does not follow the game rules uh was being played whoops uh fixed a phenomenon that caused the camera to move unintentionally uh when receiving a specific counterattack during battle I don't know which one that was. Didn't experience that. Um, fixed an issue where the emergency avoidance could not be performed when getting off the ground while touching a slope. Fixed because there was no indication that the ski could not be docked when capturing an enemy mobile suit on the space map. Oh. Talking about the, uh, yeah, okay. Fixed because the movement speed of up and down did not drop in the back of the space map was damaged. And fixed because the movement speed did not decrease while continuing to move when the back was damaged while moving on the space map. Yeah, the, the whole back thing was kind of awkward. Um, I, think I, I think I had a couple of these. Uh, but yeah, devastating to destroy someone's back though on space. Pretty good to do. Uh, in the battle results screen, there was a case that received the same praise twice uh, from the same player. It was corrected. Okay. <laughs> I think that really affects anything, but I mean, cool. Uh, where the score on the results screen and the score just before the battle ended. Huh. Hmm. 
That's weird. Uh, corrected the phenomenon that the... Oh, oh, where I guess they weren't the same. They weren't the right score. Anyway, corrected the phenomenon that the effect of the skill did not occur when attacked under certain conditions in the skill depression control. Okay. Uh, air control program level 2 when using high speed movement and rejumping in the air um, when using weapons such as Vulcans. Oh, that's kind of interesting. That was, that was a book. Fix the phenomenon where that high speed movement in the air was not possible after using a weapon. Uh, when using the skill air control program level 2 uh, or high ground to move at the speed in the air, the leg load gauge was raised when the air movement was stopped. Huh. Oh. Oh, when it was stopped, it, you, you had leg load. That's interesting. Not just the... I think that's what that was saying. Anyway, map-related crash site, the Gogu type... Uh, mobile suit was caught in a building near relay point C. Cool, cool. Um, cool. Yes, for obvious reasons. Let's see. Climb on the building. So these are map related. So these are just bugs where things are getting stuck. Maybe I. But yeah, th these were the uh, battle stuff. Map related. Cool. They've they moved things around. Um, unnatural den in the vicinity in rally point D. Okay, that's not there now. Uh, I figure they talk about the mountain range stuff there. Clan related. Um, tag search looks like a bug. Clan tag displayed on one's uh, ID might be that of another clan. That is very weird. Correct the phenomenon that the voice of admin Grandsman was not played. Meh. Uh, corrects the phenomenon that unselected invitations are deleted when a new clan invitation is accepted. That's weird. Okay. Paint related. Okay, I'm not going to skip that because I don't, I'm not the biggest guy on the paint stuff. Unit related. Here we go. Stamen displayed weapons in unnatural positions under certain circumstances. The Zogok subarm heat sword might not hit. Ooh. That would be awkward. Um, fix phenomenon where the emergency uh, escape is performed by the mobile suit on a tackle, I guess. The mobile suit remains standing, cannot. Huh. Don't know what that one is, but that would be weird. Uh, network stuff and. Th the case of group matching, uh, there was a case that invited members may be transferred to the opponent team. Yes, we had that happen. That wasn't either thing. It was very awkward. Luckily, it did not happen in a rated match, though. Happened quick. Um, fix the chat uh, destination setting in the lobby uh, when chatting in the sortie uh, preparation room. Remember in the list screen for custom matches, etc. The notation username has been changed to online ID. Okay, tutorial related. Okay, they just modified one. Other, since lacking lack of the tips, simple battle story preparation room. It was corrected. Triangle remove icon might be displayed in performing certain operations without custom parts. Speech unnatural, nothing too crazy there. Cool, firework, don't care about that one. Player data, detailed data, displayed, uh, basic bomb release item, okay. Cool. So, last thing we're gonna go over is what changed with the items. Uh, okay, so we got the Dom Barrage coming in um, with some unit adjustments here. We got skill, leg, special buffer, Material level one, explosion reaction armor level one. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. Okay, so we get a little bit of some help with dealing with CC as a Don Barrage. Gatling Cannon looks like it's getting a buff as well. 
Uh, blurring during shooting improves ease of shaking. That's kind of cool. Lumbar missile launchers reduced reload time. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. And increased bullet speed on space maps. Cool. Seems legit. A little bit of buff to the Dom Barrage. I like the suit. Definitely welcoming it. Okay, let's see. So, resistance armor. Level 1, 2, and 3. We're getting a cost reduction. So instead of 10, it's 8. Um, on the level 2, instead of having uh, 3 and 3, we've got just uh, 3 to 2. Um, and that would be for the middle is going to 2. Long distance is a 1 to 0. So it'll just cost the uh, short and medium. So that's pretty cool. Anti-armored armor. Um, same treatment. 8, 3 to 2 on the middle in this case. Same as before. And 3 to 2 on the middle for the anti-beam. Uh, 10 to 8 for it. And then 1 on the short and 1 on the short. This one's going to be 1 on the long for the melee. Uh, shield reinforcement. We are getting a level 1 uh, shield HP up from 200 to 400, level 2, 4 to 6, level 3, 6 to 8, level 4, 8 to 1,000, level 5, 1,000 to 1,200. Quick loader, ooh. Um, change middle distance part slot from 1 to 0, which is awesome. And now it just takes up the lows, or the long, rather. Uh, level 2, short range part slots from 2 to 1. That's pretty cool. So it would be two short for medium and then you're going from two to one and eight to seven giving the level three one short uh seven medium that's pretty nice um auxiliary generator change middle distance part slot from one to zero and level two short range parts slots change from two to one the high precision focusing ring is one to zero for the long giving it just medium and uh, long goes from two to one on the level two uh, head special armor uh, let's see what are they doing here increase from 50 percent to 55 so it looks like that's going up by five percent level two is going up by 10 and level three is going up by 15 giving it a 75 percent uh, we have changes the slots. Um, middle goes from 1 to 0, and long going 3 to 1. That's actually a pretty big deal. Long's going from 5 to 3, and 2 to 0 for the media, middle on level 2. And level 3 is going from short, 0, middle goes down from to 0 slots taken, and long is going to have 5 slots taken. Head armor looking okay maybe to get in there uh i normally don't have any issues getting headshots but yeah i mean if there's ever a situation where you think you're going to need it pretty efficient point part now i think except for maybe three but um who knows maybe there's something in space where you get hit a lot like that i just don't find it on land match as much back special armor now this is pretty cool because that's a big deal in space Going from 35% to 40 for level 1 and 40% to 55 on level 2. That's a pretty big increase. Uh, change the middle distance part on the level 2 from 1 to 0. Uh, middle is going from 2 to 1 on the level 1. And on long distance, it's going from 1 to 0. So, yeah, there we go. So that's pretty much everything. A huge patch. It was 7 gigs. Lots of stuff added. Can't wait to check out the rank stuff here on the 5th. Um, Path of Exile doesn't start till the 6th. So I got a day to check this out at least. Check out the rank stuff. Probably play a little bit even with Path of Exile going on. Uh, but that's kind of my updates as far as the stream goes. Uh, yeah, so can't wait to see all this. Um... Again, I'll be doing videos like this every time they do an update. I'll try to get with the website. If it, uh, I'll give it probably a day maybe to see, or sometime day, maybe two days after, 
see if anything's going to pop up on the Reddit with a nicer translation than Google Translate. Uh, if not, then I'll just kind of go ahead and cover it. But anyway, uh, this has been another one. So have a good one. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that. Peace.